protesters tapping on the glass windows at Healdsburg City Hall, making it known that they are against the vaccination mandate in place at City Hall. Freedom is more important than health. Council member Skylar Palacios is unvaccinated. Because of that, she's unable to attend council meetings in person, go into council chambers, and must attend the meetings on Zoom. Things that anger those in this crowd that showed up on Monday night. I don't support any vaccine, uh, any of these COVID vaccine mandates. Um, I think that they're unjust, they're unconstitutional, and they're unnecessary. At one point, protesters who were mostly unmasked were able to get into City Hall, and at that time, they were told the in-person meeting was moved to a virtual one. No mandates! No vax! We don't no want to see mandates. people forced, be forced to take a... Uh, it's not a vaccine, it's a gene therapy. But the CDC says that the mRNA vaccines do not change or interact with your DNA in any way. The mayor has defended the vaccine requirements and called out protesters for their actions Monday night. I am, and I know all my fellow council members and city staff are also feeling quite um, disturbed by what's gone on this evening and to be in a situation where we were essentially in harm's way and we had to lock our, the doors to the chamber. So the vaccine mandate is still in place here at City Hall. Palacios believes that the city could face a future lawsuit for what she calls discriminatory. In Healdsburg, J.R. Stone, ABC7 News.